It is 9 a.m. on Sunday, October the 29th, at the Marian Shrine of Deir Rafat, guarded by the monks and nuns of the Bethlehem Fraternity. The monastery is about 40 minutes from Jerusalem. Seminarians from Redemptoris Mater of Galilee prepare the liturgy, as pilgrims, like every year, begin to arrive. Against all expectations, despite the circumstances, they are numerous again this year and come from all parts of the Patriarchate. Lay people and religious communities gather together with their pastors to celebrate the Feast of Most Holy Mary, who has been venerated for more than a hundred years as Queen of Palestine and the entire Holy Land. They are here to consecrate to her motherly heart, their lives and those of all who live in Israel, Palestine and throughout the Diocese of Jerusalem and to face this time of trial and suffering with Mary's feelings and intelligence. She, the daughter of this land, who generated for us the Prince of Peace by becoming the mother of all peoples. So many volunteers accompany the local community in sharing a faith that is faith in God's love and the work he accomplishes in us, the same work he accomplished in Mary, Jesus Christ. The whole Holy Land at this time is a place where people are suffering. They need prayer, to feel united around our Patriarch. Among the presbyters present were Father Gabriele Romanelli, priest of Gaza. Then this solemnity of Our Lady Queen of Palestine and all the Holy Land is an excellent opportunity to continue to pray for an end to the war. This war that has already taken away thousands of people and thousands of wounded, we ask especially for peace in Gaza with the cessation of the bombing. Unfortunately, I'm outside the parish, so I was caught by this terrible situation, but I am in constant contact with them. The Christian community, 1,000 people out of 2,300,000 inhabitants throughout the Gaza Strip, is suffering what all the inhabitants are suffering. They are fine. They are refugees in the Catholic Church and the Orthodox Church. But the bombing a few days ago, which killed 18 people in the Orthodox Church, was a very big blow to the whole Christian community. They are relatives, friends, they belong to our groups. Unfortunately, for two days, they cut off all internet communication and lines. I have heard from them again. They are okay. Though sadly, when they got the internet back, people were there in Gaza. With hundreds of people dead under the rubble, and so the situation is still very serious. If they don't stop, if they don't make it stop, if they don't get the humanitarian aid to the north, where is the city of Gaza? For hundreds of thousands of people, it will be an even greater tragedy. Learning to live through pain by facing suffering with Mary's gaze, with her faith, with her feeling, this is the call that the Church addresses to her children and which resonates in the words of the Patriarch of Jerusalem of the Latins, his Beatitude Cardinal Pier Battista Pizzaballa. We celebrate the Solemnity of Mary, Queen of Palestine, who is the patroness of the whole diocese, and it is a time when we want to entrust everything in our hearts. And it is a lot of very controversial things, a lot of pain, sometimes a lot of anger, but also a lot of fear. We want to hand it over to our mother's heart, because a mother's heart the one that can take in all of this can also transform. And at this moment, we also want to dedicate our church, our whole diocese, our land. To Mary, Queen of Palestine, we need it because it is also a way to get out of ourselves. We are so focused inside everything that is happening that we cannot look at anything else. Instead, we need to entrust ourselves and in entrusting, get out of ourselves to learn to look at all that is happening to us with a mother's gaze, which is always a gaze full of pain, but also of so much consolation, so much strength, strength that only a mother can have. Then we have to transform what is our faith into concrete actions. Wherever we are, always build opportunities for peace, for encounter. Never believe that confrontation, rejection, hatred, anything else that is a shadow of death 
should determine our life choices. Once the Eucharist was concluded, a moving procession of all the faithful and religious around the monastery took place, at the end of which the Patriarch gave a solemn blessing. Immediately afterwards, those present experienced a moment of fraternal agape. A prophetic sign of a coexistence in love and in the mutual recognition of all existing realities, which is the hope of the Church, which is the hope of Mary, and which is the grace that all Christians ask of her for this land, of which she is daughter, but also mother and queen.